Hello, 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 and welcome to Tree Climbing Simulator. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. We're playing Tree Climbing Simulator, and we're bad Climb at tree. You can't actually, Jonas. It's fine oh. that you should mention that because you actually can't climb trees in this game. Every That's once in a while, you'll encounter a tree you can That's climb. That's kind of dumb. You can climb you a 90 degree face of a mountain, but you can't climb a tree. No, dude, it's hard. Trees are tough, dude. Come here, Wolfie. There's a bunch of freaking Wolfies. Oh, wow. They're trying to eat your shit, dude. All right, look, Wolf. Whiff, Wolf, Wolf, Wolfenstein 3D. Whoa. Oh, we're not done. We're going to do it again. Thunk, thunk, thunk. Do you get three shots now? No, I only get the two. Show shot. So to make the body drop. I don't know what that means. <laughs> that was a beastie boys. I don't know what I don't know what those are. You don't know what a beastie boy is? Oh, you you mean a bear. Sorry. No, dude, I'm not talking about about my, about, uh, my LGBTQ homosexual the... men community. I didn't get it. <laughs> I don't know what a bear is. I've heard that term before. <laughs> You've been called a bear before? Not me. There was a guy that Who did you call a bear? There was a guy that used to live at the greenhouse on Columbus Avenue. Yeah. His nickname was Bear. Kind of turns out he ended up being a gay dude, and he probably was a bear because he was he was like that type of dude. He would be a bear. He was just like a, a big hairy dude. He was a he was a he was not he wasn't a I mean he wasn't a huge dude, but he was like yeah he was that's why his nickname was Bear because he was a hairy guy. But I think it had more innuendo than we knew. Oh, he liked it. Yeah, he was like, sure am. There's no, I mean, not that there's anything wrong with liking know, it. I what you are. You can't say that. <laughs> oh, ish. I don't give an ish what you are. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's about to happen every video. So, yeah, Jones, look, I've been finding these, like, hurt animals. Aw. Like, look at this. Aw, do you just put out his misery? I don't know what you do with it, actually. Stomp its head. Excuse me? Fix it. Oh. Excuse I love me? how, like... <laughs> that is awesome. It followed it that time. Does It normally doesn't follow it, right? No, it does that all the time. Can what you kill that animal on the ground? I don't think you're supposed to kill it, Maybe though. it's just free pelts? I don't know. No, I, I was supposed to be able to, like, set it free or something, but I don't know. It won't let me do it now. I'm not going to kill it, though. But okay. uh, Later, uh, you'll come back. It'll be a mission. Yeah, it, it's just a pretend dog, so it's not really hurt. Aw, <laughs> poor boy. If it were a real dog and it were hurt, I'd be like, oh, doggy. Mm-hmm. Right, let me mark that on the, the map, The last actually. thing that you ever want to see is a good boy in pain. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a PSA from the Crazy Town. <laughs> and Crazy Town subsidiaries. Don't want to miss the good boys in pain. Don't ever put a good boy in pain. <laughs> it goes for yourself because you know what? We're all good boys. <laughs> and girls. Oh no, not everybody. Dude. I mean, everybody's a hero of their story. If you think you're a good boy, don't don't hurt yourself. Are you a good boy, Jonas? Yeah. I'm the best boy. You're the best boy? <laughs> you are the best boy. You no, are. You're I'm the best not. boy. Nope. I'm trash. Are you the best man? No. You like, are you a troubled I'm man? I'm a bad man, but I'm the best boy. <laughs> <laughs> My mama told me since the day I was born. Excuse me, sir. Can you come here, please? I just want to. Hey, guess what? Yo. Oh, dude, you just you just screwed at him. Can I set traps still? I can, dude. I'm just gonna set a trap on this guy. And just the in guy's case. Gonna, she's gonna blow it up again like an ass. Yeah, just in case they should find it. Why? That's like a buried treasure. Yeah, I, this is the same place I was at, but I think I have to, like, still find somebody here. But I couldn't figure out how to get the treasure, and then I took, like, a... I took a detour. <laughs> during, during, her, hour tour. during her off time. I don't know how to get down in this, this cellar, though, dude. Right there. <gasps> Jonas. Here it is. There it is, dude. We found the cavern. They never make it too hard to find either. Yeah, like it's just like a 
broken. Then there's a door. Yeah. I kind of like the fact that they never make it too hard. Yeah, to dude. I mean, why would you ever want a challenge? <laughs> <laughs> so one of the problems I did see, um, or one of the complaints I heard from this game, was uh, that it was too easy. Okay. And, uh, you know, I kind of you know, see a little bit of that. Well, I mean, Odyssey, the only thing hard about Odyssey was that some of the guys just did a ton of damage. It wasn't, like, necessarily hard. It just... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And Once honestly, you were level b appropriate, everything was easy. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I do see. I, I don't know, man. I definitely... I don't want to get back into the whole this ain't Assassin's Creed thing like I did. I think this game is meant to be is, more is. fun and than it is. challenging. It is definitely fun fun but i don't know how i don't know how long you can just make the game fun for yourself <laughs> right well eventually it gets old and boring <laughs> it'd be like it'd be like if papa Matic trouble had an automatic six button right it's like right. Uh, well, it's i need like playing six Fallout 4 or, with mods well i just put the six on i mean but you can make mods that make the game harder too or sex mods who does course. who puts mods on to make the game harder <laughs> Everybody puts on the mods that like gives you god mode and gives you every gun and you can carry anything you want and you don't have to have you have all the supplies. I mean, fair enough. And you're just like, oh, I can do anything. I can do anything. I have to go to this island, I think. Bilbo Baggins is my friend. He had a ring, dude. Had a ring, so, dude. There's a ring. It's blue. Stuff your friend will swim. Is it a her or him? She's androgynous. <laughs> she might be a hermaphrodite. Oh, That's not a PC so term anymore. What are you talking? What do you call him now? Dual gendered? Dual. You just made that ish up. You don't even know what you call him. Sounds good, doesn't it? It doesn't. <laughs> it sounds, sounds like it would be the right term. It kind of it sounds close to it, perhaps. <laughs> or like polygender. Oh, I'm gonna put dual gendered into Google. He's just gonna all of a sudden start popping up all sorts of weird stuff. But I think you are right it's that hermaphrodite is not is not acceptable with PC terminology. Oh, non-binary. Non-binary. Well, what it says is bi gender, bi gender, or dual gender as a gender identity includes any two gender identities and behaviors. So yeah, so that would be. I'm gonna actually just put them back. It's gonna bring up pictures I don't want to see. No, <laughs> don't look at the images! You weird oh, you don't wanna see it. <laughs> oh, you gotta oh, do wow, it. Wow, hermaphrodite new word. The first suggestion to replace the term was with intersex. That means okay, I'm cool with that. Here here people also ask, is it okay to say <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, oh, it is never... while many animal species are, for humans, the term is no longer considered PC. It's for intersex is the word. Okay. All right. Okay. Inter intersex. I mean, that's fine. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to... Oh, wow. This, this article is from 10 years ago. Don't call them hermaphrodites from 09. Oh, wow, dude. I'm, so it's I'm been from a long a time. That ain't been the right been word. from a different time, dude. All right. Consider it eliminated from my lexicon. I don't even know. What are we talking about? It's no longer in my lexicon. I will no longer use that term. Intersex is perfectly fine. Um, well, you could be looking up intersex porn. There you that's, go. That's interesting. It, it definitely doesn't sound as bad. No. <laughs> it definitely it doesn't hit with the same punch. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, dude. Like, like, it almost sounds like I just said something that would be... Enticing. <laughs> To everyone. I mean, you know, enticement's in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> Are these just like wolves and guys? There's like wolves and guys over here. No! Get the murdering heathen! No, you're gonna get your face stomped in. Say goodnight to your eardrums. You too. Head dead. Redemption. Redhead Redemption. You ever dated Redhead, Jonas? I have not. Why not? What are you missing out? Dude? They don't what are you like me. What do you mean? 
they they don't like you. Like no the, redheads have ever liked me. <laughs> like the ginger community is having a meeting <laughs> somewhere in a bunker, and they're like, you know who we don't like? That Jonas. Jonas. Guy. Yeah, that dude. Jonas guy. Yeah. Um. I've had some. I've had some ginger friends, but never, never like coited one. Uh, I dated one for a little bit. I don't think she was a natural redhead, though. But she, you know, she played the part. Yeah. I feel like if you dye your hair red, you're you're going to try to play the part. I've never um, had uh, vaginal or intercourse with a ginger. I'm sorry, ginger. what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Just being what, what, made, what made you want to, what made you want to declare that? <laughs> yeah, well, you were asking me if I ever dated one, dude. Uh, yeah, but I asked you if you ever dated one. Well, I, I mean, like, I, I figured, I figured you were asking me if I banged one, and I was just letting you know I hadn't. Uh, I would assume that you would only have vaginal intercourse with the woman that you're married to, like a real man. Like a real man, exactly. Yeah, yeah I'm not a fornicator. If I'm a lot of things. I'm glad. I'm a glad fornicator is not one of them. Deviant, <laughs> debaucherous foe, or fiend. I don't, I don't know what that, any Maybe. Of that means. <laughs> you Jeez. Oh, there he is. I helped all your peoples out, dude. All I your saw a friends. picture on Reddit the other day, and some it was like a uh, a redhead festival. Yeah. And it was uh, a lot of really beautiful women all standing together. Oh, dude, I saw that too. It was, I was in like, like uh, wow. <laughs> but it was like in some country where they all dyed their hair red for the so event. Right, 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 right. Today. All right, guy. What Follow do you got? Bina and Galen are this? safe at the camp we've made. Eivor, you meet us there when you're ready. Who is this? That's, okay, so that's not the guy I have to kill. I'm just making sure that's not the oh, dude. Oh, now you have to go to Selma's camp. Yep. Now I got to go back to camp. It took us two episodes, or maybe even three, to find all three of those guys, but we found them all. God, they're such. Well, it's mainly because I walk around aimlessly, so we can get dialogue in there too. What's dialogue? We don't do that. We talk constantly. Funny. I'll be, you know, just trying to make it so that it's more appealing for we get enough airtime in. Die! Yeah, dude, I'm a big fan of airtime. Oh, look at that boar, dude. Holy ish, that's a big boy. It's freaking Charlotte's Web. How are you still Why alive? Why did you just pass out? <laughs> <laughs> it's attacking you while Ow. you're down. You were, just, you were like, debilitated. Uh, <laughs> Why can't you get up, dude? I can. Oh. <laughs> Tired, man. All right, I do enough work here. Let your friend come in. Yeah, man, he's got it. Okay, now I'm starting to get attacked with arrows, and that's just not cool. You're just like ah. Oh. <laughs> this is like every just Michael lounging in the sun a little bit. <laughs> every Michael Jackson cover. <laughs> just him <laughs> sitting back, up, sitting back. <laughs> Could you stop living? Wow. Yeah. Oh, this is brutal, though. If you haven't <laughs> watched any of the the Twitch stuff, man, that's how you kill a boar. You just slit it. You give it a freaking uh, Colombian necktie. Is that a is that a cartel joke? <laughs> is that a cartel joke? I don't know if it's a cartel joke. As much as it is just a. Uh, Did you notice you're 69 and three times and then 50 number? Oh, here it comes again into the muddy water, oh, too. Dude, that's really gross, except for he doesn't put out blood and then he. Yeah, there's no blood. That's true. It'd be nice if there was blood. This game. What? Does stuff. It, yeah, I mean, look. There's a lot of stuff going on in this game. <laughs> it's a lot, dude. And it's fun to play. I I feel like I need to keep saying it because I feel like if I complain about it more, people are going to think that I don't like it. And I do like the game. All right? Ubisoft. But it is, it is not Assassin's Creed. <laughs> I almost feel like we should play Assassin's Creed 1. Oh, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. How, how long does that game take to play? Like 10 hours or something? Uh, it's it's shorter than these games are for sure. And there's, while it's still like an open world game like this, there is a lot like uh, less of this kind of stuff. A lot of it is just bird points, honestly. There's a lot less to do in the world, but that's for a reason. Google's on 360. They were limited. Yeah. There's a lot less in the world, but the parts of the world where there are things to do, it's more robust. I wonder if on the new Xbox, if yeah. some of these open world games are going to be like five of the map of like one of these games. 
see, and I don't necessarily think you need a larger map. I think you could just flush out the maps or flush out what's happening in the map. Right. Like, the, like yeah, I have a big map, but most of it is this. Less riding your horse across the field, more things happening. Yeah. Like, in Red Dead Redemption, great game, too much riding your horse. Um. Yeah. And there was that. That world was literally empty. Now it was it was thematic, and I and I get that. And I would be kind of mad if it wasn't thematic. If there was just like people roaming the freaking wilderness, I'd be right, like, it's this the is 1800s. Dumb. There's not. There's like. There's like two hundred thousand people in the world. Yeah. But it, <laughs> then then again, that just doesn't translate into like the best way to maybe deliver the game. Right. Which is why they're online failed. Hey. What year did uh, Red Dead take place? 18, like 50 or something? Guesstimate? Uh, I don't know, dude. Wild West times. <laughs> I have no idea, but... I'm gonna look it up. Because I want to see how... how uh... I wouldn't even make a guesstimation there. Because I just don't know. Uh, let's see. The game... Red Dead Redemption 2 is 1899. That's right. The epilogue's in 1907. The beacon has drawn the last of my soldiers. By tomorrow, our strength will have returned, and we can retake our city. I have not yet spoken to Leif, Birna, and Galen about this. After my missteps, I worry what they must think of me. Uh, they would be grateful. Or, what matters now is you lead going forward. The focus will be on their enemies. They'll, They'll be, be grateful, grateful. you risked your life to find them. Yeah. I would be. Right? Come on. You give me strength, Evior. By Thor's hammer. You are basically Naruto. In spite of our setback, Galen, you look well worn. Do not grieve the men you lost. They will be singing your praises in the corpse hall, waiting for us. Thank you, Yars Corner. Leaf, you'd outlast any tempest. It's good to be back, Soma. All as one. And know Oof. this. That I will follow you through the eye of the storm if you called. That is my favorite band of peanut butter. I'm delighted oh. you're alive. <clears throat> mm. I'm delighted to be living. I lost so many after all this, but I still have you three. That makes me the most blessed warrior in Midgard. And Eivor, you have more than proven your worth. Help us reclaim our city, and you will have an ally in me. My blade is yours. For Grantbridge. We'll rest for the night. Gather <laughs> our strength and our wits. And at a Hell break yeah. of dawn's light, we retake Grantbridge. Heck yeah, Heck dude. Yeah. Big old battle. Pass the night in our camp, Eivor. Take anything you need. Mm, including our women. <laughs> what makes you think that my character is a lesbian? She's bi. <laughs> what? What makes you think my character is bisexual? If you had to guess, Did you just what, assume her gender. If you had to guess what the world population was in 1900, what would you guess? The Looks world like population? Say world, it's yeah. There's eight, about there's just under eight billion now. 120 years later. Wow, dude. I don't know. Maybe like 20 million or so. Do, uh, do you have like info, like yeah. proven? Okay. Well, yeah. this is the estimated population, so I took the middle of the two estimates. I'm not gonna lie. 1.6 billion in, okay. in 1900 in the world. Okay. U.S. population in 1900. Yeah. 76 million. Oh, okay. That's a lot, though. But like. That's not a lot. But, but that's like, a lot. But yeah, I mean, there's three. There's there's like there's like 10 million in like New York City now. <laughs> so. Yeah, dude. It's, uh, <laughs> it is a lot. Yeah. I did not mean to kill that guy. That was a mistake. That I, I mean, I'm I'm bad at that kind of stuff though. I don't know like I can't really like picture how many people are on the planet, man. Like you say that number doesn't mean anything to me. Cuz I'm just like that is a lot of people, but until you see like I've never even seen a million people at one time. I mean, it'd be kind of hard. What's wrong with you? I mean, ex 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 and that's more to the point. Yeah, it would be kind of hard to see a million people at one time. 
So I don't know. It's like a million dollars is just ridiculous money. It's like, the yeah, like for sure. It's it's interesting to even think about like a football stadium. Most NFL stadiums don't even hold near a hundred thousand people, and that's a ton of people to see that's at one lot. time in one place. Yeah, and you see events like that, and you're like, wow, that's a lot of people. But that's one tenth, yeah, of like, a million. So yeah, yeah. How many people? How many billion did you say? 1.6 in the world, though. The U.S. had 76 million. So it would be... Let me see how many people Brown Stadium holds. That's a lot of freaking people, dude. I just... I can't even fathom it. I can't... I can't even fathom it. Just because I know, like, the largest amount of people I, I've ever seen in my life, and I'm like, it's ten times that. So in the entire U.S., the, the Brown Stadium holds 68,000 people. Okay. 68,000? Yes. That's it. Yes. That's a lot, though. Um, that ain't a million. That's no. not even close so, to a so million. So the amount of people that were alive in the U.S. when Red Dead Redemption 2 takes place was 100 times the amount of people that fit in Brown Stadium, but spread out across the entire United States. 100 Brown Stadiums. So you, you would say two... Two brown stadiums per state. Per state. Okay. That's a lot. That's not very many people. It's you not. Have, you have 100,000 people spread out of it in every state. Like, now, obviously, Rhode Island had less than California, but you know what I mean? Maybe not back then, but you know what I mean? <laughs> that is a lot of people. I mean, that's not a lot of people, but yeah. It's per like, state, it's that's... not a lot and a lot at the same time. It's per weird. state, that's not a lot, but... No, dude. If, I mean, Texas... How many people are in Texas right now? Oh, Jesus, man. <laughs> in Texas? How many people are in Texas? Texas is... is a crazy Texas's question. population in 2020 is 30 million. 10% of the U.S. lives in Texas. Just really? under. Really? Yeah. That is well, it makes sense. Four, three, four of the ten largest cities in the country are in Texas. Oh, that's true. Dallas, San Antonio, yeah, Austin, and Houston. Houston so. yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's basically all of Texas, other than El Paso. Other than that, it's pretty barren for the most part. Yeah, and um, Austin just recently got in the running in within like the last couple of years. Yeah, yeah, in the last like five, six years, it, it was in like when I moved here in 2013. It was like I think 12, 11 or 12. Yeah. So it's probably it's probably in the top 10 now. Oh, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, uh, yeah. It's fast as one of the fastest growing yeah, cities yeah. in America. Uh, but that's crazy, dude. That's that's crazy. Ten percent. Well, it's funny. You see those. You saw those graphs a lot around the presidential election. It was like half of the country lives in like a hundred counties or hundred and fifty counties across the entire U.S. <laughs> it's nuts to think of that. It really is, man. Because it, I mean, a lot of the middle America is like nothing. Right, yeah. Well, and then Nothing. you think about those little towns and how they differ than, like, think about how different a town in East Texas that has 10,000 people, how what their le way of life is compared to people who live in Chicago. <laughs> Night and effing day, dude. I've, Night and effing day, different lifestyle. I've lived in I've lived in Austin, Texas. I've lived in Ashtabula. I've lived in <laughs> Cleveland, Ohio. I lived in... Where did I live in Florida? I lived in Florida. Captain. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've man, I lived in New York. I've, I've seen it all. You know what I've realized <laughs> about New York? All, when I went to uh, I went to a Patriots game from Cleveland. Yeah. And we drove literally through the entire state of New York. I didn't realize that other than New York City, New York is like farm. <laughs> yes, a lot of it is. Yeah, a lot of it is is, is this country. And it's it like is. rural as hell, and then New York City yeah. has a billion people. Like, yeah. Not a billion, but you know. Yeah, it it is kind of crazy how it, it's and, and it's the same idea that it is with uh, with Texas. Where yeah. It's like there's so much land in Texas, yet it's only like you know four couple, spots, four or five spots that are actually like big. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's like PA too. You hit Pittsburgh and you hit Philadelphia. In between, there's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like areas decently sized, yeah. but it ain't it ain't Philly. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't, it ain't Philly, yeah. it ain't like, there any, is there even a downtown in Erie with like big buildings? Um, I mean, yeah, kind of big, but like not. And, and to be honestly, I would say that it's pretty comparable with like downtown Austin. <laughs> <laughs> then you got downtown Ashtabula. It just has like a senior living facility. It's like twenty stories. It's the biggest building downtown. <laughs> in an Army Navy store. Yeah, it's the biggest building. <laughs>
old Carlisle's. It's closed. Oh, Ain't nobody no. been on the seventh floor of the Carlisle building in 38 years. Oh, no. Ashabula. Who's attacking? There's a snake in here, dude. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Old Ashby Bola. All right, Jonas. Well, I guess on the next one we will see about this big battle, man. We got we got some stuff handled on this episode. I like battles, dude. Not really. I hope you win. Uh, probably will. You know. Yeah, yeah. That's all time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've done that. Do Twitch with him. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch. That's twitchtv slash TNT Dynamite underscore Crazy Town. Mm, for Jonas. Mm -hmm. We'll catch you on the next one. We are out.